Hello dear friends! In this episode I will bring to your attention prophecies from all around the world concerning the three days of darkness and the terrible storms with uh, some sort of uh, dust which uh, brings death to everything it touches. I have compiled all this not to scare anybody, just on the contrary, if we see these things uh, actually happening then we can be absolutely sure that at that time is the time of the prophecy because these are not usual events. It is impossible that they will be happening just by chance, especially in conjunction with the other events outlined here. And once we see all this unfolding, there will be absolutely no reason for despair, what to speak of fear. Actually, it will be a time of celebration because it will be obvious we are that lucky generation which will witness an incarnation of the Lord. He will be amongst us. He will teach us how to live and love Himself. So these days of darkness that will engulf the entire earth at some point during the tribulation period, they seem to be very important because uh, they are mentioned by uh, many independent sources. In the Bible alone there are dozens of uh, references to that event and some of them clarify that it will be not just uh, like night, but even the moon will be dimmed and the light from the stars and the heavenly bodies will follow unusual path. In Islam it seems to be present under the concept of the Dukan or the Great Smoke. And in all these uh, sources it, it is mentioned that this is accompanied by terrific earthquakes. And the smoke is not just an ordinary smoke but poisonous gases causing instant death to anybody who gets in contact with them. American Indian prophecies, Hermetic prophecies from Egypt, all they mention this time when the, the heavenly bodies, planets, stars, everything will go out of its ordinary course. Even the sun will rise from the west, according to Islam. Also, if you remember the Iranian mystic from the first episode, Salman Salehi Gudarza, he also said, fire and dust awaits humanity if it does not change its course. Nostradamus also mentioned something like this briefly. He said, such a great famine, plague through false dust. A Catholic prophecy by the blessed Anna Mary Taigi of Rome. God will send two punishments, one be in the form of revolutions and other evils that will be organized on earth by men, while the other one will be sent from heaven. It shall come over the whole earth as an intense darkness lasting three days and three nights. Nothing can be seen and the air will be loaded with pestilence which will claim many. It will be impossible to use man-made lightning during this darkness except for the blessed candles. He who out of curiosity opens his window to look out or leaves his home will fall dead on the spot. During these three days people should remain in their homes and pray the rosary. The air shall be infected by demons who will appear under all sorts of hideous forms. And this is how the blessed sister Elena Eilo describes the days of darkness. During the sacrilegious battle, everything that has been built by the hand of man will be destroyed. Clouds with the gleam of fire will finally appear in the sky and a storm of fire will fall on the whole world. The terrible scourge, never seen before in human history, will last 70 hours. The wicked will be pulverized and many will be stubbornly lost in their sin. Then we will see the power of light and the power of darkness. 
So one way to interpret uh, this description is that this uh, radioactive dust will come out from the destroyed infrastructure. Also, Drog Vyacheslav mentioned that all tall buildings, all these big factories and plants, all these huge industries will be destroyed either in the earthquakes or uh, swallowed by the giant faults, which will be opening all over the earth, which would be greatly unstable at that time. So, if all industrial buildings get smashed, not only the nuclear power plants, which have been ticking bombs, which we faithfully prepared over the decades, ready for the day of anger of God. But also that radiation will be complemented by the toxic cocktail of the thousands of uh, chemical plants having their poisons loose in the open air. Aren't we well stuck with all types of poisons? Yes, we are, under the loud cheers of New Age people who assure us, don't you worry, we are awakening, just think positively, and it will all just disappear. Yes, there are indeed people who are awakening to the divine light in them, but sadly, too many will be those who will experience another awakening. And that's the realization that, oh, oh I am at the gate of hell, just a few more steps. How did we end up in this predicament building our own time bones, the nuclear plants? It happened because uh, the parasites convinced us from the lie vision, the television, that okay, we know there is a risk that is there, but you see this is negligible because in general it is required for the progress of humanity, all this energy. While if we had people of the old wisdom judge the situation, they would tell us life is sacred. The very fact that this technology with the nuclear plants has this tendency, this intrinsic effect in it to kill the people in such a horrible way, that is a sign that there are destructive, demonic patterns in it. Anything carrying the symbols the patterns of destruction should not be let in our society, otherwise at the end it will end in bitter tears. It will not lead to progress in the end. That's what a really wise man would have said about nuclear energy if anybody would have asked them. But people are totally in the grip of this uh, black magic of the TV and they are hypnotized. They took the risk, they, they accepted the nuclear projects and uh, very soon that may backfire. And as far as the plants and factories which could uh, potentially release lethal toxic clouds, lots of them don't even manufacture anything meaningful. Often these are goods, what an inappropriate word in this case, which uh, end in the garbage dump very soon, just because they are designed to break very soon, so that one acquires more garbage. Any wise person will tell you that this is obvious madness, but this black magic of the mass media is so strong that the vast majority of people cannot even imagine other reality. That's why they do nothing against this madness. And a large chunk of the so-called alternative media only contributes to making this curse of black magic disinformation even stronger by convincing the people that just by giving your energy in the form of your attention to countless hours of listening to programs about how the so-called elites, elites, that's how they call them, are gonna fry us alive with radiation in FEMA camps and so on. And this so-called alternative media is convincing you that uh, you are liberated just by knowing that you are on the way, on the road to hell. Actually, do you arrive knowingly or unknowingly, it won't matter at all at the end. The only thing that could make a difference in terms of where will you end up during the upcoming drama is to start a genuine spiritual practice and also to follow the advices which the Lord sent us through many messengers about these critical times. He started sending messages since 1000 years. But people are not interested in that, they would prefer a beer while listening to 
space missions, secret space missions to Mars. Well, others find uh, different, more sophisticated uh, ways to deceive themselves by becoming members of a sect which promises you that only our people will be saved during judgment. Just be a fanatic member and nothing else is needed. You don't need to stop drinking. And that appeals to simple-minded people who imagine that they can embark on the boat to heaven while packing all their garbage from Earth. And in this type of sects they find uh, similarly-minded people who convince each other that they're certainly on the right track of spirituality, although they are not having any transcendental experiences as such, they are not having glimpses, real glimpses and visions from the other realities, but it is okay. Everybody in their small box is like that, so it should be okay. Just a reminder of what Irmaya said about the days of darkness. Do not go out of the house, do not look out of the windows and pray overnight they will die more humans than in the two world wars before. The cattle falls, the grass becomes yellow and dry, the dead humans will become quite yellow and black. And then hail consisting of lightning and thunder, the electric current stops, who inhales the dust gets cramps and dies. Do not open the windows, cover completely with black paper. All open standing water becomes poisonous. And also all open standing meals which are not locked in doses. He said that the days of darkness will come when the snow caps on the Watzmann glacier in Germany will be no longer seen. He also, like a few other prophets, mentioned that uh, the days of darkness will come at the time of the Great War. It is not clear which Great War exactly. Maybe the War of the Eighty Flags? Or maybe the big East-West uh, War in Europe? If they are at all different as such, we don't know. They could also be simply different phases of the same conflict. Another major uh, war mentioned by few independent sources is a big war between uh, Russia and China, which at this point of time is uh, barely a prophecy. It's uh, openly planned, at least by the Chinese, who officially said that they are waiting for the moment when Russia will finally ab abandon its unnecessary greed for land and will let us settle in and live in Siberia. Sister Palma Maria, again from the Catholic Prophecies. There shall be three days of darkness during which the atmosphere will be infected by innumerable devils who shall cause the death of large multitudes of wicked men. No one demon shall be left in hell. They shall come out to execute the wicked murderers or to dishearten the just people. It will be absolutely frightful. After describing similar visions about the days of darkness, Saint Jasper del Bofalo said that those who live through these days, at the end they will think when they come out that they have been left alone on the earth because everywhere around they will find only corpses. But again, we have the most uh, detailed description of the Days of Darkness uh, in the Jehani prophecies. She tells us that they will fall on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And some 37 to 40 days before the Three Days of Darkness, there will be something like a warning, which will be kind of two days of more moderate darkness. And this uh, two days should serve as something like a signal to the faithful, those who study the prophecies, to
to prepare because the three days of darkness will be a major anger of the Lord chapter. It will be pretty serious if there won't be any devils left in hell to attend there. It means it will be pretty serious, so it's so it makes a perfect sense that the Lord will want to warn his own people a couple of weeks in advance. So let's first read the Jehani prophecies about the two days of darkness. The flame of the Holy Spirit says that in the designs of the Lord there will be two days of horrible darkness separate from the three days that many other prophets have announced. The sky will be purple and red. It will be so low that a clump of a tall tree will be lost within it up to a quarter of the tallest trees. These two days will foretell genuinely about the descent of God and His anger upon the earth. The trees will be burned and will not produce any fruit, the sap will be burned. The rain that falls from the sky below will have a full order. It will be as a big hailstone of fire that pierces that which is most solid and will leave a visible mark of burning. Your homes will be preserved, only that which is covered lightly will suffer. The water that will be poured on the earth will be black, a frightening black, and most of the land will bear it equally everywhere, but it will not hurt that which serves as food of the people of God. The Holy Flame said that in Brittany, in these two days of darkness, under the lowering sky it will seem light, but no one will be able to see, because they cannot put out their face by the day when opening a door there will be an envoy of God in the form of a hot flash which will obscure the human eye. The daytime in this darkness will still be bearable despite the darkness, but if the days come, the night will be violent, and during the two nights, screams will echo, coming from nowhere nor walk on earth covered with justice. Daytime during these two days, one will be able to put out the blessed candle, but it should be left burning throughout the night. So what I find interesting is that uh, Jehenny gave uh, hints that at least the two days of darkness will be somewhat different, slightly lighter in um, Brittany, where more godly people will reside at that time. And also she said that the Holy Spirit will care about the uh, vegetables growing in the gardens of the noble people and also for their cattle. He will provide food for the cattle, having the understanding that the people won't be able to go out of their houses and feed their animals. So these tiny bits of information combined with uh, this idea about the uh, karma of the nations, about which there will be more information in the episode about Bulgaria, that uh, leads me to think that even the worldwide uh, events could be slightly different in different countries and even at different properties. For example, I live very near the border and I often cross for shopping. And in the area where I live it is uh, famous for uh, having lots of rain. So in the beginning when I settled here, when I noticed one time that exactly when I crossed the border, in the neighboring country it is sunny and right at the very border starts the rain. I thought this is a really funny coincidence when I saw it first. But then as I went on crossing the border, I saw that this is actually happening regularly. There is no geographical feature that would uh, cause this. The vast valley looks absolutely the same on both sides of the border. And not only that, but once I noticed this on this border, because where I live is actually uh, three countries meeting. When I noticed it on this border, then 
there is another crossing point which I use to another country and over there is the same. As soon as I near the border, the clouds are there, right at the border. And why is that? Because as explained in many previous videos, this three-dimensional world, which most of us consider to be solid, to be reality, is nothing else but a covering a shell of the real truth, which are the underlying subtle patterns. And there is such a thing like a collective uh, consciousness on a national level, apparently much more than I would have expected, but we we'll learn as we go, enough to make even a drastic uh, boundary in the weather visible with our eyes here in the so-called solid reality. And it will be the same during the tribulation. God will give command to the elements. Shake the earth so that the people finally come to their senses. And the elements will certainly do so. But it will be always projected through these provisions of uh, national level reality, region uh, reality, personal level reality, the, the bubble which the people at the given property, which live in a given house, have also. That's another filter which will uh, make the effects of the command of the Lord different for each and every house. See for yourself what the Lord himself says in a vision to Jehanim. Brittany should suffer less from this rain and storm. I will leave half of the harvest. But be aware that I know very well how to find in this very same Brittany the blasphemers. So don't you think for a moment that anybody can go with a prepper mindset and uh, settle in Brittany and get spared just because around there will be more pious people than in other regions? If you take part in any of the programs of the Antichrist or continue to drink alcohol regularly, the devils will find you with absolute certainty, promised by the Lord. And by the way, the Jehani prophecies are not uh, like world famous, but they are well known in the circles of uh, more traditional and really practicing Catholic people. And actually, uh, some of them have relocated to Brittany because of these prophecies. And Brittany is not uh, the only spot on earth where there will be relative safety for the pious only, for the noble souls. Mecca is one such uh, island. And also Slava Sivrykova mentions a uh, few other locations. So Brittany will be the safest region in France because uh, these are French prophecies, but not necessarily the safest region on earth. Now let's read Jehani's actual description of the three days of darkness. Hell will be loosed on earth. The thunder and lightning will cause those who have no trust in the divine to die of fear. During these three terrifying days, no windows must be open because no one will be able to see the earth and the terrible color it will have in those days of punishment without dying at once. The sky will be on fire, the earth will split. No one outside the shelter will survive. The earth will shake, as it will at the judgment day, and fear will be great. Prayers of the godly people will be heard, and none of them will perish. In the homes of the wicked, even the blessed candles will give no light. Always keep close your blessed objects of protection, which will calm the storm unleashed by the Luciferian voices. Now, obviously, these uh, prophecies are uh, made from a Catholic point of view, but in the episode about how to prepare for uh, this ordeal, I will give uh, suggestions for people from all faiths. And also some agnostic and even atheistic people can survive all this. There will be useful information for them because ultimately it will depend on the personal qualities and belief system of the soul and not its uh, membership in any sort of credo or organization. 
The Lord himself told to Jehani that the day of darkness, that refers to the uh, two day of darkness, which will be like a signal for the big one approaching, it will be the first that I will send to convert the wicked and see whether many of them will return to me before the big storm that will follow closely. This might be referring to that uh, same situation described in the Quran that uh, one will have the option to join the side of light until the time when the sun rises from the west which is uh, maybe and maybe only i'm not saying probably this uh, very same event of the three days of darkness on the other side uh, paramonov says that uh, at this point most people have already decided in their uh, form as higher selves which side they will be on and only few will be deciding later on well i guess the uh, two days of darkness will be like the absolute last call but do not rely on uh, that last call because uh, people who have been actively participating in the projects of the antichrist or alcoholics for them this uh, opportunity for salvation will be only theoretical they will have the choice but practically they won't be able to make it because of the black magic of the alcohol the wicked devils will take most hideous shapes red clouds like blood will move across the sky the crash of thunder will shake the earth and sinister lightning will strike the heavens. The earth will be shaken to its foundations. The sea will rise. Its roaring waves will spread over the continent. Everything will shake except the piece of furniture on which the blessed candle is burning. The godly people will gather around the blessed pictures. That will keep the terror away. Now that's an extremely important uh, moment and I'm the right person to tell you how it's going to be exactly because I've uh, been through all this some 10 years ago when I had uh, many ayahuasca ceremonies because of terrible sickness which was not going out for any other reason except ayahuasca and uh, the way it had to be uprooted from my body as it was coming out I was a frequent flyer to this type of health during many ceremonies. Initially, as all other people who explore that uh, facet of reality, I did not understand if this is a good cure, why do I need to go through these horrors? But eventually, as my vision developed, now I can clearly see and not only theoretically believe that all these things, all these horrors which I saw, they were actually inside me and I only saw them at the moment when they were flying away. It is not that uh, somebody called the evil devils, you know, to revenge on me. No, it, these are things which were deep, very deep in my subconscious from other facets of my own higher self of which I did not have conscious knowledge but they were there and that's where the root of the disease was and when the root was coming out I had to see all these horrors I can't even begin to describe to you all these deformed ugly bloody monsters in front of me but when you are in that paradigm they are as real as this computer in front of you and although they are etheric Many times they were going after me, like trying to choke me and th the effect, their grip, that was real. That was also in this uh, so-called real three dimension. Although the monster was etherical, the effect was here. So the way the Lord described it to Jehani that uh, all these uh, devils let loose, they will simply uh, kill the wicked with horror. It may sound a bit like a fairy tale to you, but it is uh, an absolutely real thing. They are uh, more than capable to do it, even when they come in astral forms. They, they can kill people. It's very easy as long as they have the right to do it.
while on the other hand if you already have cultivated steady consciousness by that time and you have not participated in any of the projects of the Antichrist these apparitions will uh, most definitely not harm you you may see them but they will have no grip on you Sacred Heart told Jaheni, I warn you that one day they will be found and it is marked where there will be little sun, no stars, no light to make up one step out of the houses which in those times will be the shelter of my people. It will not be at the height of summer or in the longest days still short. It will be not at the end of an year, but in the first months that I will clearly give my warnings. The days commences to grow, which means somewhere in the spring. Lots of her prophecies were given by saints who visited her in her visions, but some of them are personally given by the Sacred Heart, the Lord Christ himself. The Sacred Heart continued, after these three days, you will find only corpses around. This is a prophecy that I make myself, I, who am the way, the truth, and the life. Do listen to my words. So this and few other even more direct passages openly suggest that uh, this particular big chastisement, as they call it, is one of these uh, unavoidable events which is set in stone. In most, or maybe probably actually all, ancient uh, major paradigms which try to explain the divine from a religious or other point of view, there is this concept that there are certain events which are set in stone and they cannot be changed, that destiny is unavoidable, while most of the other minor ordinary events could be changed depending on the behavior of the people. It is definitely so according to Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, most definitely uh, the best uh, sacred books from my personal point of view, which is the channeled material of Jane Roberts, uh, is most definitely supporting and explaining in detail this point of view. So it could be that indeed this event of the terrible darkness with all the devils flying and screaming around is uh, bound to happen. And in a very recent uh, video, Alexander Paramonov, when he spoke about all the types and forms of uh, genocide, which uh, we are all silently supporting by keeping the stupid clowns as uh, heads of our countries, he said People should be very careful with that because they will excite the great anger of the Lord. And then he said, or to be more precise, they have already done it. And the interesting is that uh, he explained exactly uh, why that happened. And it is for the same reason for which Jehani quotes the Lord himself explain it. He is particularly angry with this uh, human trafficking and the bloody sacrifices. And Pramonov as well gave this uh, modern example of the same thing with, uh, was it 1,500 or over 1,000 uh, Russian children found in Italy. That was announced uh, apparently by the Italian police. They were caught during human trafficking uh, operation and they were heading towards uh, being used for organs. They didn't specify like medical organs or organs for soup. And this is the batch that they actually caught. So how many are there which uh, reach their destination? How many people disappear without trace all the time? Or how about the genocide in Russia? Since democracy has taken over, the number of the population has shrunk alarmingly because of all kinds of genocide. Now these uh, the government gangs are making it more cruel, but they are subtle ones, which are not less sinister. Also, some 80% of the people there in jail, they're actually innocent. 
They are imprisoned just because they didn't sing loud enough the parasitic chants. So currently most of the people can live in the comfort of uh, their homes and they are more or less free. And although most of them prefer to remain blind for all that situation and by not inquiring into it, this doesn't mean that God as well will sweep the matter under the uh, carpet when the guests come so that it looks good and pretend as if it is not there. He is not like that. And we are the ones who will be responsible for maintaining this entire monstrous system. I have a video called How to Take Down the Empire of Evil showing you that uh, we have uh, politicians, even in our parliaments, who are against this, who have proven with their entire lives that they are fighting this unbelievable madness and yet they can do nothing lacking the support of enough people. Why they lack such support? Because people are under hypnosis. They agree to continue to be subjects of this uh, tyrannic rule, distracted by uh, childishly small matters. And the punishment which is uh, suggested in the prophecies uh, of three days of darkness is more than appropriate for us for supporting these black magic hideous sacrifices dead by dying out of uh, horror of demonic apparitions. And all those uh, uh, people with the sweet mask on their faces who are convincing you that uh, you just keep thinking positively and everything will be written off. Well, that is simply not true. Some things can be written off by thinking positively and positively of what the angels consider positive and not the mass media which has uh, brainwashed to the point of absolute sleep walking while awake most of the people on earth yes that can write off something but not everything and this uh, type of bogus propaganda which uh, basically preaches lawlessness yeah one can be not responsible for one's deed by just wishing so that is a demonic propaganda of put forward under the banner of uh, New Age, which uh, originally was the best religion ever because it was founded by the teachings of Setas channeled by Jane Roberts. So uh, there is proof that the secret services uh, tempered and uh, made attempts to distort these original teachings and I think they have made it uh, very successfully and these uh, second generation preachers now they are not even aware that they are repeating demonic slogans when they write all these popular books of just imagine anything and it will come true don't forget that these books were written by people who could not become rich by imagining so and that's why they went after the money of the readers. So a man sent me a question. Is there really no way to prevent all these uh, horrible things from happening? There should be somehow a possibility to appease the Lord. Well, certainly the events which are not fixed and are changeable can be changed for sure. Just I don't have an exact list which belong to that category because I don't have the gift of prophecy myself. But even if for some unknown reason the entire end time scenario gets cancelled and we enter the new age without any trouble like this directly through the door, even that will not save each and everybody for being responsible on personal level when they die. Those who are hoping to miss on the judgment day by drinking a lot and sleeping in late on the day of judgment, even they will not manage to outsmart the Lord. They will be judged one day when they die because God is a personification of justice and He said this is a prophecy that I make myself, I who am the way, the truth, and the life itself. Listen to my words.
Barbara Marciniak, uh, who claims to be channeling the Pleiades, also made prophecies herself. Basically confirmed, uh, at least in general, Jenny's visions that uh, the times ahead will be extremely difficult. And she also said you will be shocked if you could see how the large crowds, how many people will cheer the devil's rule towards the end with loud scream because of the joy they feel by supporting them. I don't know if I can uh, call Barbara's uh, prophecies uh, verified and absolutely reliable. Certainly I have uh, seen no reason to disqualify them so far. And maybe it will be good to note in this regard that uh, during a lecture in Shrewsbury, England, 20 years ago, she was the first one to mention openly the devilish pedophilian uh, trafficking programs they run. And at that time, actually some people walked out of the talk, walked out from the lecture in indignation, in denial of uh, what they just heard. And now we understand that not only it turns out to be true, but also it is going on in massive proportions. And in the same way, uh, when I speak about this cancer of humanity, some people find it a little bit too negative and look for all kinds of reasons, including absurd ones, to convince themselves that everything is actually fine. But uh, this time they will not have to wait 20 years to realize that uh, the concerns are actually valid.